Previously, I covered Aruco markers with Dexy, and in this video, we're going to jump in uh, to April tags. See my load average in the bottom left, and then the top right, we have the April tag node running. In the bottom right, we have the different topics. In this case, we're concerned with the detections topic that will give us information about detected markers, the marker ID, the pose, and so on. The top left, I have the Dexy live video feed, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate just by holding it up. See marker, April tag marker 19, and you'll see in the bottom right, it detects it. There's an Aruco marker, ID zero, that's not being detected, and then a larger April tag, you'll notice number seven, and it shows a seven in the detections object uh, being printed to the screen or echoed to the screen. So now back to smaller April tag number 19. I'll start to walk away a little bit. Let's see if we can get both of these in there, both the smaller uh, number 19 as well as the larger number seven. So now you'll sort of see both of those printing to the screen, just uh, returned in an, an array format. So ID seven and ID 19. Now the camera is no longer focused on any of the uh, markers and we see no detections. So what I'm going to proceed with doing is uh, we saw the load get up to you know, 60, 75%. I'm going to stop the uh, Dexy services. This is a launch file that runs a bunch of different nodes. So I'll stop it. You'll notice in the bottom left that our load pretty much goes uh, down to zero. And by default, the camera feed is at 640 by 480. So I'm going to modify the camera launch file. You'll notice width and height here of 640 by 480. I'm going to cut that in half. Go from 320 uh, to 240. And what I'm optimistic we'll do is we'll see a bit of a performance improvement. I'll start the Dexy uh, nodes with the launch file. We'll see this kind of climb back up to about the steady state of we've seen anywhere from 25 to 30 percent with our nodes running. With the April tag node, it definitely bumps up the load a bit. So we're at between 30 and 50 percent right now if you recall previously with a higher resolution we we're seeing up to 75 percent average now i'm detecting the uh, april tag number 19 on the left see our load is below 50 percent now let's take a look at number seven our load is still beneath 50 percent so obviously it makes sense here that we're not feeding as feeding in as many pixels, but we're still able to do the detection, which is cool. And that leads to uh, to better performance. We'll, you know, obviously experiment with trying to figure out what the ideal resolution is and um, any other optimization optimizations we can make. The April tag detection in this video was done with Christian's April tag ROS code. It's a ROS2 node. And it uses the CV bridge. If you look at some of the code here, you'll see the CV bridge, which uh, creates that uh, bridge between OpenCV and ROS, specifically to be able to uh, read those images and do the marker detection. So really appreciative of this uh, node, and we'll be doing some more testing with it. The performance is uh, pretty nice, especially given that we're doing this all on the CM4 CPU. So that's it for now. Appreciate you guys following along. And until next time, thanks for watching.